Om Shanti, and good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. My name is Seelan Mudliya, representing the Brahma Kumaris World Spiritual University. Om Shanti is a greeting where I recognize myself as a soul and that I am peace. As our organization name suggests, we are a spiritual organization focused mainly on elevating the consciousness of individuals and communities who are in need through sharing our own experiences in meditation, through spiritual knowledge and understanding the self, connecting with the superior source energy and all God and the knowledge of this drama of life. We are an international organization with over a thousand meditation centers in over 120 countries around the world and are affiliated to the United Nations, uh, to the uh, UNESCO part of the United Nations as an NGO. I cannot imagine what it must be like to go through and go into an extended isolation, hospitalization and the attendant mental trauma, confusion, fear and anxiety. But I do know that this must be very challenging indeed. For this, you, you have our admi admiration, our support and benevolent feelings, feelings of compassion and sincere good wishes to help you through this trying time. So that I may assist you to cope, I'd like to share a few thoughts, which is very little in the time allocated for us, but hopefully it will help you in some way. In a day, spend a few minutes reflecting on some of these thoughts that I'm going to share with you in order to understand and increase your capacity from inside, from within. Using these skills or tools from deep within your spiritual core. Be with yourself, commune with yourself and meditate. Learn to focus your mind and connect with yourself, the soul and with the help of the Supreme Soul, God. Some of the thoughts I'd like to share with you is that we have a concept of eight powers. These eight powers are very useful on a day-to-day -day activity at every moment of the day, virtually. And some of the powers are the power to withdraw, the power to cooperate, the power to tolerate, the power to discern reality from illusion. But what the, what the one power that I would recommend that we use in our deliberation into the future would be the power to face. The power to face actually looks at the challenges that we are facing on a day-to-day -day basis, what tests are coming our way. And especially at this time, of COVID, the challenges are immense. And there are techniques that we have to use in order to overcome these challenges. Another point is understand and accept what is happening to make it easier for yourself. Step back, learn to stand back from the drama of life. Be kind and loving to yourself. That is the concept of self-compassion. Find or create a point within that you can access. A point of inner safety. Discover inner peace and find your wholeness. Empower myself feelings of hope and forgiveness. You are not a victim. The essence of me is love, peace, power, and silence. 
Some of these thoughts that I shared with you are from a book, The Stillness in the Storm, by Dr. Sarah Eager and Jan Elko. There are many such books and knowledge that we would like to share with you. I would like to spend more time with those in need of individual assistance and show your methods to access your own power through connecting with God. I'd like to share with you some points of meditation now. So in order to meditate, I'd suggest that you sit comfortably with your feet on the ground and focus on yourself, the center of the forehead, a point of light, a point of energy. Relax your body. Check the stress points in your body and flex and relax your muscles. Take deep breaths. Go within and with each breath, breathe in peace. Breathe in love, breathe in purity, whatever you wish to breathe in and breathe it out, let it go into every cell and every fiber of your body so that it relaxes you. Connect with this inner being, this point of light, my point of silence, I the soul, my spiritual core. I feel and experience my essence of love and peace. I connect with the source of all the highest qualities, the Supreme Father, the universal source of kindness, of love, understanding, support. He is my friend who cares and who is with me whenever I reach out to him. I feel his care. He makes me whole again. I return to the present, refreshed and calm. Om Shanti.